Hi friends, welcome to my channel. In today's class, we will discuss how to draw an involute of a given heptagon. So heptagon means it is a polygon of seven sides. Okay, we are we will do this heptagon with each side is two centimeter. All sides of the polygon is same, so that is two centimeter each and every side of the heptagon. Let us initially do the heptagon. After that, we will do an involute for it. Heptagon it it has seven sides. Initially, do one horizontal line. One side two centimeter it is roughly I am showing here. So I am taking the outer angle formula for doing the heptagon. So roughly I am doing here without instruments. Each side is two centimeters. Okay, here I am you are doing this diagram by using the drawing instruments. For that we have to calculate this outer angle because I am using the outer angle formula for doing the heptagon. Okay, this let us take this is the outer angle. So we have one formula for all polygons three sixty by n. n means number of sides of the polygon here are how many sides it has seven sides 360 by 7 how much it is 7 phi is 35 and here 10 7 one is 7 point 4 four okay approximately it is coming approximately it is coming 51.4 degrees so all outer angles has same value okay here are, we are taking this is outer angle this is outer angle like that no if you are extending this is outer angle if you are extending this is outer angle like that okay here also this is outer angle let us do initially this 2 cm line after that we will take again one 2 cm line with this angle 51.4 degrees let us do by using the drawing instruments here let us give some gaps so that involute will come like this okay so at one side of the sheet you have to do the polygon for that take 2 cm Okay, after that, after doing two centimeter line, how much angle we have to take? Fifty one point four. One more line here. By using this protractor, we are taking the angle. At this point, I am doing two centimeter line. So here, initially take fifty one point four degrees. So this is fifty, fifty one, fifty one point four means approximately take the angle. Okay. So here, take in this direction two centimeter line. So two centimeter means from this point to here at two centimeter. Just do one line. Okay. After getting it, after getting this line two centimeter, again take this angle fifty one point four here. So outer angle fifty one point four. So here in this direction, we'll take two centimeter line. Let us take in this direction. Okay, in this direction, two centimeter line. So here, start with this value. Here six, I am taking. Here four. The gap is two centimeter. Okay. Now after getting it, again take outer angle same outer angle. Do the line two centimeter line. So from here, take the angle. Outer angle is this side fifty one point four. Okay, in this direction, take two centimeter line. From four to six. Okay. Now after getting this, again take outer angle. Fifty one point four. So this is the outer angle. Fifty here fifty one fifty one point four. So here we got this point in this direction. Take two centimeter line. From six to four. So I will do from this for completing the polygon. Here also outer angle same, fifty one point four. Fifty one point four here. We got one point. Now in this direction, take two centimeter. Okay. 
so this is 4 this is 6 the gap is 2 cm so this is closing side of the polygon check whether it is 2 cm or not so this is exactly 2 cm so close this polygon and this is the required heptagon it has 7 sides let us count 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 give the names for it I am giving capital letters A B C D E F G okay after getting this here at this initial end just do one horizontal line for doing the involute after getting the polygon roughly I am showing here at B just do extend one line okay this is the thread we are taking how much length thread we are taking means whatever circumference of this polygon that length we are taking B is the initial point what is the circumference of this polygon so each side is 2 to centimeter okay so 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2 like that how many twos will be there 7 twos okay 7 sides of the polygon 7 into 2 okay what is the circumference 14 centimeter we have to take 14 centimeter line b is the initial point okay because involute means thread the path we are doing okay initially we have to take the thread this thread length is circumference of this polygon okay so how much it is 14 centimeter horizontal line let us do this horizontal line from b from b take this length 14 centimeter give the name pq for this thread if p is at b point p is the initial point q is the final point of the thread from b i did 14 centimeter line now divide this 14 centimeter into seven parts each each part is two centimeter so by using compass take this is a two centimeter already so this is the first part so next part two centimeter one two three four this is the fifth one this is the sixth part and the last one is the seventh one seven parts okay we have we have divided this 14 centimeter line into seven parts just to give the names one first part p1 is the first part second one third fourth fifth sixth and this is the seven q point is also i am giving seven okay seven parts we have divided so after dividing this into seven parts from each side we have to do the line of some length so a b side we did the line from b c also do the line of some length just do the thin lines these are the construction lines from c d side also do the line of some length and here d e side also do one line this line should be light color compared to the main polygon and involute okay so after that here also do the line EF side okay some length we are doing on it we will mark again here FG side also do the line and GA side also do the line like this okay from all the sides we did lines okay in the same direction of each side of the polygon after that here initially we took same whatever length is there complete circumference of this polygon how much it is this is 2 centimeter plus 2 plus 2 plus 2 means total 14 centimeter this is the circumference so we are taking this length thread we are winding this thread on the circumference of this polygon initially this is a pq is the first length take the entire length initially just do an arc like this okay so after that we are tilting like this so how much length it has reduced here 2 cm remaining length okay remaining length whatever this length will be there so from C it is coming here so here how much the remaining length on it we have to mark this 1 q length okay q is the last point or 1 7 length so how much it is by using compass we have to measure measure this length 1 q length okay so mark this 1 q length from c point on this line like this let us do the bigger arc so that we can join all the end points so here we got the arc give the name for this 
here I am giving this is Q, this is the Q1 I am giving. We can give any name, end point I am taking Q here, okay Q7, here initial point I am giving Q, here I am giving Q1, okay. After tilting this, 2 cm got here, remaining length we got here. Uh, again we have to tilt like this, okay. So we are tilting 2 cm here, 2 cm here, remaining length will be coming. Remaining length means initially we have marked Q1 here. Okay, next we have to mark Q2 length, remaining length. The length between 2 and Q, okay, that is Q2 length. Measure it by using compass, Q2 length. So this is a Q2 length. Measure Q2 length, okay, from two, second point to Q, Q2 length. From D, mark on it. Okay, so we will get the arc here. So extend this line so that we will get the intersection point here. So this is Q2. So here we have marked Q1, here we have marked Q2, here mark Q3 length. Q3 length means the distance between 3 and Q. By using compass, take Q3 length, okay. So after Q2, on this line mark Q3. So take this point as center, just do an arc. Here extend this line. Mark Q3 here. Okay. After marking Q3, mark Q4 on this line. Q4 means distance from 4 to Q. Okay. So this is the distance between Q4. Mark this length on this line. Just extend the arc. So this is Q4. After Q4, mark Q5 on this line. So how to mark Q5? The distance between Q and 5. Okay. By using compass, take this length. Take Q5 length, so after Q4 mark Q5, just do arc here Q5, okay, mark the point Q5, after Q5 on this line mark Q6, this distance. This distance mark on the last line. So here, so this is Q6, extend this arc up to this initial point. So this is Q6. We got Q1, Q2, Q3, Q4, Q5, Q6. So we have to join all Q points for getting the involute. Q, Q1. Q2, Q3, Q4 like that by using the freehand curve or we can use the compass also for joining Q7 and Q1 let us take this is the center okay for doing an arc by using compass we can do the arc B as center this as the radius just join these two points okay after that joining these two points which will be the center C will be the center okay like this we can do an arc Okay, this point as center. So C is the center. C Q1 is the radius. Join these two. Okay, just like doing circle. Okay, after getting this arc, for joining this point and this point, take this is the center. D is the center. This is the radius. Do an arc. D is the center. This is the radius. Just do an arc. Okay, after getting this, join this point and this point which is a center this is a center E is a center okay just do an arc here by using compass E is the center this is the radius this is the radius do an arc for joining these two points okay after that join Q4 and Q5 which is a center this is a center take F as center this is the radius join these two points okay after joining Q4 and Q5, join Q5 and Q6. So for joining this, which is the center, this is the center. By using compass, G as center, just take this is the radius. Okay. 
join with q6 okay after that join q6 and b so which is the center a is the center by using compass a b is the radius join this okay now we got the complete curve this curve name is called involute we can do freehand curve also but it will take less time by using the compass joining the two two points so in this involute this is heptagon and this thread and this curve should be in dark color compared to other lines these are the other lines or construction lines also we can call and after that mark the given dimension outside the diagram here each side of the polygon is 2 cm mark in mm 20 mm okay do the dimensional line at the middle write 20 mm this thread length is 14 cm it is 140 mm this is the method of the involute the other involutes of the polygons for different polygons i give the link in description box please check it if you like this lecture hit the like button subscribe my channel and share with your friends thank you for watching